Let's get serious. Your new state champion, Mount Desert Island. Yeah! Part of what makes MBI drama so special to me is uh, the welcoming atmosphere. I'm sure you've heard that a thousand times, but like, I didn't start drama until I was in my junior year, and joining it even after all of these people had made the friendships, like, it, it was so welcoming. I mean, it's kind of just my home. It's where I do everything that is related. The sense of collaborative achievement when it all comes together in the end with the show, like you're watching it and you just think, wow, after all this time we've got here and everyone has contributed. The community that drama has created is uh, just very unique. I feel like no matter like what show and drama that you do, whether you just do the musical or that you do everything or whatever, it's like this little family and everybody just loves each other. <laughs> high school and I heard about all the different like spring plays and musical and the one act and I thought there's so much to choose from. It was kind of the place where I was able to start my entire high school career because I didn't know anybody before I came here um, and it's been said many times before that it's like a family but it is but you're also a large family doing a large group project that everyone is really invested in. It's so much fun and how everybody's really connected through as something that they all love. The direct emphasis on like student-directed learning, like um, it isn't just made and then handed to you to operate. Like it is all about you are making this experience. The theater department has been where I felt probably the most comfortable being me. It just feels like somewhere you can go and um, be with people that love you and uh, know you for you. I think the people just like in in the drama program just like have fun and like they're not just doing it because it's theater they're doing it because they really like it there's a shift in how I act when I like go in go into the theater ready for a rehearsal where I can be so much sillier it's really special to me and I feel like I've made my best friends here in high school from drama. I ended up remembering a bunch of Sarah Suchek stories from when she was uh, in the theater department. Uh, specifically, it was like warm up, so it'd be like, uh, uh, babe, beep, bye, boob, boob. And that's why Sarah would do that every time we did that exercise. When Anna and Desmond were both sick, and so they both FaceTimed in, and we started in rehearsal in Mr. Rush's room. So they were both on Skype, up on the TV, and then we moved to the auditorium and put them on the TV um, That's that was part of the set. I don't really remember what happened, but I remember that halfway through, I like paused it, muted, I muted it, and then I went and I made like soup. And it was really <laughs> great. Emerson, instead of saying uh, the walls are three foot thick, he said the walls are three foot thick. <laughs> and I think that was, everybody had a laugh about that. Um, and I don't know if Emerson realized it until afterward because he sounded so surprised. And all the stories in the booth are funny because we're trapped in there for like hours and so it gets crazy. Obviously the one from Into the Woods where Emerson's voice started coming out of the cow. <laughs> we brought it up to Gray and Gray thought it was absolutely hilarious because it's he's Gray. How? Why? When? Not my fault, hopefully. When Marilee brought in uh, my teeth for the uh, fall musical, and uh, Frank goes, okay, here they are. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Just during rehearsals sometimes, um, during some of the funny lines, um, Frank would just like laugh. He would just sit back and just laugh at us. <laughs> like he was, he was so smug about what he'd come up with. It was like really, really quiet in the theater. Like we were saying our lines and like, you could basically hear our voices like echoing off. Like it was just so quiet and there was like, a joke or something like that. Like that wasn't really that funny like to pick up on, but all you could hear was Mr. Rush laughing. And <laughs> she's like, ha ha ha. I would have to thank Mr. Rush because not only is he uh, just the director of the whole drama department and like this department wouldn't be what it is without him, but he was also the director of the one act. And I feel like that added 
a huge experience to my high school career. I think that Gray really cares about what he's teaching the text, and he really does want us all to take something away from this. And I think that's kind of the passion that we need, that everyone needs in their education. The first two people is Carleen and Gray, because they kind of taught me how to do stuff and made me feel like I knew what I was doing, even though I didn't know what I was doing. Honestly, that man has given me so many opportunities to learn and succeed. Like, I was awful as a freshman. I wouldn't have taught me squat if I was paid. And that man, well, he was paid. Frank, for being the understanding and thoughtful director that he, director that he is. Where's the boy who killed my husband? Frank was understood that it was my first production and he, he couldn't he couldn't have been more wonderful. It was very loud and he doesn't like smile all that often when you first meet him. And so but he has like he's so like, interested in like drama and what our school has to offer for drama. And it just means a lot. Chris, because uh, uh, very specifically because um, she has been such a great help in I don't think I would be in theater the same way if it wasn't for her. The directors, first off, because they're the ones that make this stuff happen. They're the ones that get the whole thing started, the ones that really kind of have to push us into gear sometimes and make the whole thing happen. Yeah, these directors don't sugarcoat. Like, this is the real deal acting. Obviously, the directors, and I mean, the amount of work that goes into a show is its so time consuming for them and like, it's amazing that they want to work with students and help them um, become better actors and actresses and become better, better techies. The adults that make this program really love making theater and they really love supporting kids who want to make theater. I also want to thank all the seniors <laughs> because I'm like so inexperienced. I know there are a bunch of other people that were inexperienced and so new to it and they were just so welcoming. I want to thank everyone because <laughs> it wouldn't it wouldn't be it, without any of those without one person it, it's all of the people that make it it has you can't take out one person there's I mean everyone contributes their own thank you drama program thank you thank you thank you thank you <laughs> thank you 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 thanks thank you much obliged <laughs>